sunny day in Australia. It's Sunday the 10th of September and um, we are on our way to Windsor. Oh and I must just point out there, that is the puppy that I want. Do you see that puppy? Yep, Jeff is going to buy me that puppy. <laughs> Stay tuned and we'll catch you later. Oh yeah. Nice pub. The Australian pub. And road is subject to flooding. Oh my god. You can see all the water over there, can't you? Yeah, can't you? Is that from the last flood or from the rain we've had recently? Oh, I think it's probably from the last flood. Roy would like that. You have arrived. We have arrived, right, but yes. She was a bit slow there, wasn't she? bargains there come on down and grab a, a fair deal on some furniture that house is beautiful and look a white picket fence every girl's dream Ooh, what's going on over there I think that bike show that you were talking about oh isn't all it? the motorbikes yeah driving over there you might have a nose. Yeah, might have a nose. Mm -hmm. That got a funny way. You're making me feel car sick, Ron. I'm so sorry. It's a bit wibbly wobbly. Because we're parking out there, that's not the one I wanted to go to. So we're just finding a place to park oh. and we will get back to you shortly. Well, we won't be going up there. Bye. Right, we've arrived. We've got car park. And we are at Windsor Shopping Centre and um, we just saw that there was a big motorbike show on so um, we might go and have the two doors over there as well, might we Jeff? We just might do that. Yeah, but um, anyway, first port of call is the lolly shop, you know, stay not tuned. Coffee. No, not coffee, we'll have a coffee after. Catch you later. Well, here we are. But look at that, the pizza factory. So good. There's the bank, the nail shop. The chemist. Gifts and gadgets. Oh, that sounds interesting. Funny socks. Oh, these are pretty cool. Look at these guys. That's pretty cool. That's They're cool. cool, hey. Not my cup of tea, but I know you guys like them. Is that Austin Martin? No, no. see, I told you it's not my cup of tea. But hey. Yep, so you get t shirts and everything. Oh. 
$15 for t-shirts people, $15 for t-shirt. <laughs> uh, uh, I used to work on Redditch Market many years ago, <laughs> selling ladies underwears. So that's another story. But that is a different story, yes. We won't go there yet. The boys would like these too, wouldn't they? Yes, they would. I think they've collected some of them. Oh look, there's that massage gun thing. That's supposed to be really good. You've got one. I've just seen the price of these cushions are only $10, guys. Look at that, that is a bargain. Jeff? Absolute bargain. Come on, Jeff, look. Is this the Austin Martin? So I don't I don't know my cars. No, it's a GTS Monaro, very famous. Oh, it tells Australian you on the car. top, doesn't it? Yes, it tells you on the cloth. <laughs> so it should tell you to it, read it, shouldn't yeah. it? No, it says t it tells you on the cloth, not the tin. Uh, not on the tin, on the cloth. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't looking there, I was actually looking at the car. But it shows that you should read what you see. Back to school for me. Hey, Jeffers. <laughs> right, here we are. Windsor. Quite a unique town in many ways, according to me, what I was reading up with. Um, Windsor has the most remaining British original buildings from the early colonisation days. It's also... Um, the third oldest British colonised um, place in Sydney and it also was what they called the breadbasket of the area um, because of the soil so fertile that it was used to feed the starving masses of Sydney. So as you can see from there, the old buildings. The gang's all here as usual. I'm trying to pan round slowly. Yeah, it's quite a quaint place. I'm going to show, try and show the uniqueness of Windsor today and the history of it. Hopefully, it's not too boring, but informative. Oh, there's Ned. Obviously it has its uh, fair share of junk shops. <laughs> Actually it seems to have more than its fair share of junk shops. But uh, we'll cross over while we can. There's the old Windsor Post Office. How do I know that? It says it on the concrete. Market day today. Okay, we'll cut there for now. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. Bye for now. Okay, here we are, just a bit further on into the thing, the old Fitzroy Hotel. Hawkesbury's oldest continuous license. You can even get your hair done. And here we are, the target of today's uh, <laughs> experience. This huge, what they call lolly shop here, sweet shop for us. But yeah, lolly shop, so okay. I'll cut for now and catch you later. Right, here we are, now we're in the soda or pop section of the shop. I've never seen so many different cans of pop in my life. Wherever country you come from you will find your favourite soda, pop, whatever you want to call it here. As we go down, this is the latest craze, this prime stuff, but there's no way I want to pay that price for it. We come down here, we're sort of getting into the UK section there with the Iron Brew and the different flavours, UK Dr Pepper and there's my favourite, Dandelion and Burdock three books a can but again, I didn't realise there's so many different flavours never seen chubby chips before you keep coming down 
the old Raro, that was the Kiwi favourite. You boys used to drink gallons of that during the summer. So yeah, we got all these cans of pop. Oh, there's a different one. Oh, here's one for the kids, one for the guys. Come along here. Um, I didn't know there were so many different versions of Dr. Pepper. I think I've only know about that one. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, as I say, if you can't find your favourite drink in there, you're never going to find it. Now we're coming out into the main part of the shop. Again, every denomination, the sweet you can think of. I've never been to a place like it, actually. Again, everything's here. So I'm trying to keep people out of the shop as best as I can. Just stick into the subject matter. <laughs> there we go. Here's the Freddos. This will be just one segment of today's filming. I'll leave it to Jan to sort out the editing along with Brendan and Tristan, but hopefully I'm not going too fast. <laughs> Minions. Pinball machines. I just say, you just, everything is here. Okay, well I'll cut for now till I get to another shelf. Catch you in a bit, TTFN. Okay, I'm trying to catch in between the music. So here we are, caramel, tonic, various other bits and pieces. Right, okay, you got the fifth there. Buy again for now. Okay, we're in the furry section now. Oh, oh, party mini. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, look. Cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> oh. So many. I've never ever. Uh, it's not my first visit here, but it's still things. <laughs> and I would not recommend these. Stay away from these. Definitely. I've seen what they do. I'm not tired of myself, I'm not stupid. Oh, here we are, we're into the walkers. Those are very small packets. And we've got the old hula hoops. Monster Munch. Quavers. The taste of the UK. Okay, we'll take another little break there. Here we, are. Here we go again. Look what Jan's found. Yes, Jack And this is my section, sugar free. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the Daryl Lee. Yeah. I doubt it. There was some chocolate bombs over there. I don't think you put them in the back, look. That's because they're full of other chocolates, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. But that'd be pretty cool, though, wouldn't it? Not As a chocolate bar. Oh, yes. No, thank you. I wouldn't want to be drinking the water. I'm not asking you to drink the water. 
<laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, dress up day as well. John loves this cabinet. I don't know why. The old enamel mugs. And the teapots to go with it. Tea caddies. Biscuit barrels. Very cool. Really? Oh, yes, and it is a genuine tin and mushy peas. Fantastic. Ten bucks. Come to the hot sauce section. Isn't that England? Yes, it is. Yeah. And then just below that, we come down to the sort of English side of it. Yeah. Branston, Piccadilly, proper golden shred marmalade, the full range. Cool. Golden syrup. And hot salt, garlic, ghost pepper. No, not for me. All too hot. Just to catch up with these. The old Maynard wine guns. $19 for a box. They even got licorice all sorts. Not my taste, but yeah. It's mine. Yes. Oh, can we come to the kiwi section? Whitakers, really nice chocolate, the Whitakers. 